गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल चैनल नेम्ड गीक्स फॉर गीक स्कूल आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू टेक एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वेलकम ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हुव ज्वाइन इन थ्रू माई चैनल द नेम ऑफ विच इज़ गौरव कुमार जैन थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी एट दिस टाइम इन दिस टूटोरियल एंड बिफोर आई बिगिन विद माई लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लीज शेयर दिस लिंक शेयर द लिंक ऑफ दिस वीडियो in your group so that more and more students can come and join us in the tutorial on also i would like uh, to request you to please hit the like button so that we can reach to the which we guys will be covering in the course so there is everything uh, right from the scratch till the end uh, related to app development if you want to enjoy this course you are most welcome to avail uh, you know the services so it is uh, very affordable you guys can go ahead and register yourself now because the seats are limited let me tell you that too and also if you want to learn some other thing for example you would like to learn some software related to data science or you want to go into artificial intelligence field or you want to explore the machine learning field or some other technical field then we are into everything let me tell you that we are into everything we deals uh, we deal in every kind of software you want to learn anything you can contact our executive team right they are going to help you out with everything related to the syllabus also and related to what all things you you will be taught by the mentor in the course right so we have java courses we have course based on artificial intelligence machine learning etc etc let's now come on google and talk about that game which we are going to develop today on the beautiful and colorful scratch platform so for accessing the scratch platform as you guys very well know we have to simply type scratch online 3.0 in the search bar of google and it will redirect us to a web page where right on the top we will see the hyperlink or you can say link with the help of which we can get ourselves redirected to uh, the main website of scratch right so that's the url i was talking about simply click on this and you will be redirected to the scratch main website now right on the top in this header part you will see this option start creating click on this option and you'll come on the scratch environment directly okay so before i begin with my tutorial before uh, i begin with you know uh, designing the game and coding it i would like to check out the comment section if i have anything to answer definitely i would like to answer it and if you haven't to get it sorted out i am there to help you guys out thank you very much komal pandey for joining me in this tutorial dear this is the fourth or fifth time i think i'm seeing komal with me in the tutorial thank you very much dear for all your support and cooperation i hope you are enjoying this lecture do not forget to share your experience you know with me uh, in the comment box thank you very much madhuri gupta for joining me in this tutorial at this time good evening dear i hope you all are doing well okay so today we guys are going to design a drum kit on this scratch platform okay but for that the first thing that we require is a beautiful background an appealing and relevant background over here on this playground so where can we uh, get that kind of background now that what that's what we have to think about so for now i am eliminating this sprite first which is by default getting reflected over here on this playground so we can simply come down and hit this bin option now let's check out if we have something in the backdrops library so for accessing the backdrops library inbuilt backdrops library of scratch we need to come down on this backdrop option choose a backdrop option and then we can make use of this uh search option it will redirect us to this 
backdrops library of scratch now here let's see if we can get a beautiful background and it should be relevant also to what we are going to develop today okay so uh, I am not able to see anything relevant yes this one is relevant this one is looking good but uh, not that good let me see if I can find something on Google I hope I'll be able to find it and by the time I'm searching for the image let me tell you one more thing see uh, you know till the time you are there with me I will keep on reminding you about that tool which I use basically for creating all my things so it's visualization right the name of the tool is visualization and if you really want to create something new you want to create something out of the box so please start using your visualization power the more you will visualize the more I the more clear view of the ideas you have you will get okay the more good pictures of the ideas you have you can create you will be able to create them in your mind and if you have the pictures in your mind you will be able to you know uh, make a good plan and if you have a good plan you know everything about the codes over here I know it variable and you also know it that uh, you know you guys are uh, tremendous you have got a brilliant mind and you know everything about the coding part but if you want to create something new out of it if you have the pictures if you have the plan definitely with all these things you will be able to create that kind of stuff you know with the help of which you can attract people and you know you can create things like Facebook things like WhatsApp it's very simple the only thing that requires is uh, you need to be focused and you need to visualize the things you need to start visualizing the things no these are not the kind of images apart let's search for something like this okay so yes we have some very good options available to us over here okay let's select one of these images so how about this one this is looking good but let me see if I can get a more relevant image I think that's what I was looking for it's looking option. and then we can paste it in the paint software like this I hope you guys know about the shortcut keys for pasting the image so control V is the shortcut key with the help of which you can paste the copied image once the copied image is there on the software you can save it with a unique name so for now I'm saving it with this name stage okay let's go back on the scratch platform and import this image which we just saved on the desktop so we need to come on this backdrops section first and from here okay uh, sorry not the backdrop section we need to come down over here on this backdrops option and when you will put your cursor on this option automatically a menu will open up now from here you can click on that uh, first option okay which is getting reflected in the menu now we need to come on the desktop and let's select this stage area that we uh, just saved on the desktop so that's how you can bring the uh, you know image you can bring any image which is there on your desktop on this uh, empty frame now in order to resize or in order to modify the dimensions of this image you have to first convert it into the vector form I've told you many times in the previous class also about this classes uh, about this but uh, today also I am going to help you out with this so what you can do you can simply click on this convert to vector button and automatically it will get converted into the vector form now you will see two more tools getting reflected in the toolbox over here with the help of which you can uh, change the dimensions of this image so I would like it to you know cover this entire uh, scratch playground 
so for that we can just enlarge the size of this image like this see yes it is now covering the entire area see how beautiful it is looking right so that's how you can play with the uh, dimensions of the image you import on the scratch platform let me enlarge the size of this window so as to uh, tell you how it's going to look like on a bigger window so that's how the image uh, you are going to see it's going to look like on a bigger window so it's looking amazing right now let's reduce the size of this window so we can again click on that uh, you know option for reducing the size now let's come on this choose a sprite option now we have to you know choose some sprites some relevant sprites from here uh, let's search for something like drum so you know these are all the options you are going to come across so let's select uh, these options one by one so we need a drum kit right so i am placing it over here see how beautiful it is looking right now it's looking amazing and then let me add some more sprites so i need to come on this choose a sprite option again and we need to click on this to get ourselves redirected on this sprites library and here i simply come on this sprites library and select this drum hi-hat great let's let me just put it over here i think this is uh, here it is going to look nice yep drum snare now so i'm making a whole uh, you know kit of drums okay then let's again come on this sprite section and select the drums conga so put it here i think here it is going to look nice yep okay how about if i'll put this one in the right side and this one in the center yeah now it is looking much better let's select one more i want to make it more uh, you know more appealing i want to make it look very interesting so that's the reason i am putting these many sprites over here i think it is looking nice now yeah so if i'll enlarge the size of the playground so that's what we are going to get as an output okay so let's now begin with coding these sprites we have defined on the playground but before defining the coding part i would like to see the comment box again if i have geeks for geek school i'm not able to see any queries getting reflected in the comment box let me check my channel which is gaurav kumar jain and see this time rayan nadir hello dear definitely i'll shoot a lecture on this one also very soon you will have to wait for that lecture dear okay madhuri gupta is here fine so let's now okay let's now uh, start defining the code for the sprites which we have defined on this colorful and magnificent background so the first thing i would like to define the code for is this drum kit okay this is the first sprite which is getting reflected over here and before defining the code let's import let's add that extension which we require for uh, coding all these sprites we have some while back added to the playground so we will be requiring 
what what's where is that yeah we'll be requiring this music extension so in order to add this extension to this scratch platform the only thing which you have to do is you have to click on this extension and automatically it will be added uh, to this scratch platform and you can see a section a separate section of music with name music has got created over here right in the bottom and we can see all these blocks related to this music thing getting reflected over here right they are reflecting over here in this uh, block section fine so let's select an event first so when this sprite is clicked when the user will click this sprite what should happen so the first thing i would like should happen uh, is to i would like this to come in the in front okay i would like this uh, this sprite to come in front now how will i make that happens so there is a block in this look section that you can make use of for doing the same so go to front layer let me just show you the output you will get from this code so let's run this game and if i hit this sprite just a second why it's not happening if i will send it okay i think it's already in front maybe because of that it is happening if i'll do it like this if i'll put this sprite over this sprite and let's come back on this drum kit now if i will click on this sprite so see it has come uh, in the front layer okay earlier it was in the back now it is in the front so because there is no uh, nothing which is covering this sprite so that is the reason we don't require this thing for now let's put it back now i would like the size of this to change okay so we can make use of this change size by now if i'll make it 20 let's see what is going to happen so if i'll now click on this see the size has increased the size has increased and with this the user will be able to get a feel of this uh, what we are making right now okay that's what uh, that's why i added this code over here now as soon as the size will increase what should happen after that so after that i would like to hear some uh, you know sound from the background and it should be the drum sound we can make use of this play drum block and we can place it over here let's click this drop down and select the select a relevant sound so let's make use of this crash symbol i think this is going to be a good option and i'm changing this beats to one okay and once we are done with hearing the sound from the background the size of this should again change so that it can go back to its initial position okay so what can we do we can again make use of this change size by block and we are going to now change it by minus 20 let's see what are we going to get as an out output if i will hit this drum so that's what you will get uh, get to here right let me change the initial size to 100 yes now it is perfectly fine now if i will hit this drum so that's what we will get as an output let me show you the output on a bigger window see how cool is it is looking it's looking amazing right now when you will draw it or when you'll design it and when you will code it on your respective devices definitely you're going to enjoy it a lot fine so that's how you can define the code for this drum now the same code i would like to define for all these sprites over here but before defining the code let me again check if i have any queries to answer so that i can sort out okay 
Santa, hello dear. I hope you are enjoying this lecture. Thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. Okay, thank you very much, Peppa Memes, for uh, all your appreciation and for all your love, dear. It really means to me a lot. Okay, so now you know one way you can define this whole code for all these remaining sprites is by simply copying this whole thing okay you can simply select the whole code copy this and you can put it over here by pressing ctrl and v keys together but it may be possible that you will uh, it it may be possible that you will not get the whole code copied in one go so what is the other way you can uh, you know copy this whole whole code and put it over here in this window so you can simply drag this whole code and you just have to bring it and drop it on this uh, you know sprite so what will happen now when you see this code you will be able to see for this drum kit over here in this coding window but when you will come on this second sprite you will be able to see the same code over here also okay for this second sprite so you know that's the second way with the help of which you can uh, you know reuse a code or you can say copy a particular code you have defined for a particular sprite uh, for some other sprite in the coding section in the coding workspace now similarly if you want to define the same code for this sprite what you have to do you have to drag this whole code and you have to just put it over this third sprite and release the right release the left click automatically the code will get copied and you will see the duplicate of this code when you will select this sprite over here in this coding workspace similarly let me just repeat these steps again for uh, for these remaining three sprites so i would like to copy and create a duplicate of this code for all these remaining three sprites so that's how we can do it and it's a very easy method right okay so now when you'll come on this fourth one you will be able to see uh, this code over here which we just copied uh, on in the coding workspace for this sprite similarly for this sprite also you will be able to see the code over here in this coding workspace and if you'll select this last sprite which is this one for this also you will be able to see the required code now let's come on this one and make the required changes so the first thing i would like to change is the sound okay so if the user will hit this sprite how about if we'll choose this first one okay so that that is great and if i'll choose the second one no that is not relevant again this is not the relevant one i think that's better right so open hit hat we can uh, define for this one then let's come on this third sprite and for this one let's define something from here we have to first listen to all the sounds okay this is looking fine but not very much relevant no okay i think this one is fine tambourine yeah that's perfectly fine so i am placing it over here okay let me just reduce the size to 100 because initially it should be of 100 yeah perfect let's now select this fourth one and let's see if we can find some relevant sound from this drop down 
<laughs> no not very relevant it is okay i think this one is perfect right this one is perfectly fine now what is happen happening if i'm clicking on it again and again so the size has increased this much see size has become it was initially it was 100 and now it is 280 i don't want that to happen so for what we can do instead of making use of this change size by minus 20 besides making use of this change size by minus 20 we can also use this one we can change the size I think this is for this is working perfectly fine right yes it's working perfectly fine now and if I'll remove this change size by from here and if I'll keep keep only set size to 100% with this green block let's see what are we going to get so the size is increasing and as soon as I am releasing the lift click no it is not going back now I want to set the size to 100 how can we do that now that's what we have to think about let me see if I can find the size option in this no there is no size option I think this is the only way we can reduce it down no problem let me set the size to 100 by default okay and by default it should be 100 right perfect let's now come on this fifth sprite and define the required sound for this one so it's a conga or Congo can we get a relevant sound for this one yes I think this is the one we can select yes perfectly fine okay so we are left with only one now and so it's crash symbol which is currently uh, getting reflected over here in this drop down of the block which we have defined for this instrument let me see what we have defined for this one i think crash symbol we can define for these two right that is going to be a good option for these two but so we can define crash symbol for this uh, small one right let's select crash symbol where is that yeah this is the one perfectly fine okay and for this one we can select some other sound not this one perfectly fine it is perfect right so we can go with this bass drum let's see how this game is going to uh, look like when we'll play it on a So it's amazing I am enjoying it a lot just try to create it on your own also and before proceeding to the last step let me see if I have anything to answer in the comment section so that I can resolve your queries also which I am here for for mainly okay so I am not able to see anything in the comment section of geeks for geek school let me check my own channel and I hope you guys are sharing the video just check out the previous tutorials you will be able to find the angry bird game right okay so I think I have taken the query also there was only one query of Madhuri fine okay let's now 
select these sprites and I am I would like to change and it's 140 let me change it to 100 100 and then that is also and that should be also 100 okay let me see if I have if uh, I have any other block with the help of which I can make it more interactive and more uh, you know more appealing Definitely, it is going to help you a lot in uh, making more appealing games okay uh, so we have this set tempo too also you can set the tempo of this uh, uh, you know sound let me just add this one over here let's see how it is going to now sound to us okay and without this if I'll set the tempo to 300 see okay so you know you can increase or decrease the tempo with the help of this block and what else can we do you can also make use of some variable to keep a check on the score part if you want right how many times this has been uh, clicked how many times user clicked this uh, sprite how many times user hit this one right so for that you can create some variables for each one of these sprites and you can keep a check on the score part also so you know that's how you have to think if you want if you really want to create amazing and appealing apps you will have to think until and unless you will think you will not be able to create uh, you know good apps okay so I think this is it we have covered everything related to this uh, game now before ending this lecture applications if you want to learn how uh, to create mobile apps if you want to know about how to design user interface for mobile apps you want to know about multi-screen applications you want to design and develop it yourself right so that's the course you can avail this is going to benefit you guys a lot we have put in a lot of hard work in this course right and you will not regret after taking this uh, course tutorials fine and then you can visit this web page with the help of this link if you are not able to see it from here you can check out the description section in which all the links are present which are going to redirect you to some or the other course which uh, geeks for geeks is currently running for the students okay if you want to know more about this course you can come down and check out the syllabus also so that's uh, going to redirect you on a new tab where you will see a pdf file in which you can see all the topics that we will cover in the lectures we'll provide you in this course right so these are the 15 uh, topics that will be covered in the in this app lab course geeks for geeks has come up with and if you want to know more about this course if you want to get more details of this course you are most welcome to contact our uh, team at any time we are there for you 24 by 7 and also if you uh, are interested in learning artificial intelligence or machine learning or anything related to computers coding or designing we are there to help you guys out we are there in every field okay so let us support you guys and you guys can avail before ending this uh, lecture i would like also like to tell you that you know the, you, this course is very affordable okay and like this course all the courses which geeks for geeks uh, provides are very affordable so go ahead book your seats and start enjoying the classes which we are providing right now to all the kids out there so thank you very much uh, for joining me in this tutorial keep liking keep sharing the videos in your groups so as to uh, you know show your support and make us reach to the maximum uh, maximum students possible so that they can also come and join our channel and enjoy these free and amazing coding classes we guys are providing